Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. DOJ and FBI swamp rats caught in coup. Panic as Trump invokes presidential powers. Shocking developments are coming out of the White House as President Donald Trump just called the bluff of the DOJ and FBI swamp rats who inserted a spy into his 2016 campaign. Trump's taken the kid gloves off as he demands Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and FBI Director Christopher Wray report to the Oval Office immediately for a showdown. He's invoking his presidential powers. Last week, the charade the Democrats and the leftist media have been touting since President Donald Trump was elected, that he colluded with the Russians to win the 2016 presidential election, ended. The New York Times and The Washington Post had to admit certain entities at the DOJ and FBI had inserted an informant into the Trump campaign. Yeah, not an informant, a spy. But, the new plan was to give the leftist media time to sow a new but equally and utterly ridiculous narrative. It's why the New York Times called the spy an informant. It's also why Dirty Rat former director of national intelligence James Clapper said Monday that the FBI having an informant gather information on the Trump campaign is a legitimate activity. For months, President Trump was advised by his lawyers to play it cool as special counsel Robert Mueller conducted a bogus investigation. If Trump appeared to squash the investigation too early, before the truth came out, it would be playing right into the swamp's hands. But, as soon as the leftist media could no longer cover up the real crime of spying on the Trump campaign, the president was free to use his executive authority to annihilate his enemies. So, this morning, the president identified who was the mastermind behind the cabal to take him out, former CIA director John Brennan. Brennan knows he's cornered as the cabal has turned on him. So, He's been threatening the president on TV and through numerous tweets for days. The president responded by citing a quote from former Secret Service agent Dan Bogino who has been covering the coup attempt on his radio show. Trump tweeted, John Brennan is panicking. He has disgraced himself, he has disgraced the country, he has disgraced the entire intelligence community. He is the one man who is largely responsible for the destruction of Americans' faith in the intelligence community and in some people at the top of the FBI. In a series of tweets, the president continued, Brennan started this entire debacle about President Trump. We now know that Brennan had detailed knowledge of the, phony, dossier, he knows about the dossier, he denies knowledge of the dossier, he briefs the Gang of Eight on the Hill about the dossier, which they then used to start an investigation about Trump. Continuing to quote Dan Bogino, Trump concluded, It is that simple. This guy is the genesis of this whole debacle. This was a political hit job, this was not an intelligence investigation. Brennan has disgraced himself, he's worried about staying out of jail. Now, in shocking developments this afternoon, Trump is done with the shenanigans of the DOJ and FBI refusing to give Rep. Devin Nunes the unredacted classified files which will assuredly prove all of the cabal's crimes against Trump, including the spying, who was involved, and who will be going to prison. So, Trump being Trump, free now that the truth is out in the press, just shocked the swamp by giving the DOJ and the FBI a call. We can imagine the phone call went something like this, this is the President of the United States. Since you have left me no options, at 3 p.m. today you will appear in the Oval Office. At that time, I will be giving you orders. You will immediately follow those orders, or I will immediately have the Capitol Police remove you, place you in contempt, and lock you up. Click. Trump reacted after Rep. Matt Geetz, who works with Rep. Devin Nunes on the House Intel Committee, appeared on Fox News urging the president that they needed the classified files handed over unredacted. He also called for an immediate second special counsel to be started to investigate the real crimes perpetuated by the cabal. The president has enormous presidential powers over the DOJ, FBI, and CIA. Remember, as the head of the executive branch, he is the boss of those agencies. They can't just do whatever they want to, they aren't independent of the president. He's invoking his rightful authority over them and guess what? They are in complete meltdown mode along with all the leftist media. The Swamp Rat's ridiculous excuse as to why the DOJ and FBI cannot turn over the unredacted classified files is because it would put the spy's life in danger. That's bullcrap, though. Everyone already knows the identity of the spy who infiltrated the Trump campaign, although huge media outlets like the New York Times won't name him. His name is Stefan Halper. Don't worry, it's been all over the internet for at least 10 days and no one is running around trying to kill him. We reported on him a few days ago, and it is a fascinating case. 
saying people are going to kill him is just a ploy to stall so they can continue to refuse to turn over the incriminating files. He's a 73-year-old Cambridge professor who has ties with the CIA and British intelligence. Halper is an old-time politico, a Reno, Republican in name only, who stalked minor league Trump associates like George Papadopoulos, who he entrapped in a ginned up case. President Trump also inferred today that former President Barack Obama knew all about the illegal spying on his campaign and there is a paper trail proving it. So, expect all the rabid leftists to be outraged as Trump takes control. The swamp rats are finally cornered with no place left to hide. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.